Hey guys, we're the Tasty Twins, and we're back with another challenge video. I hope you remember our, remembered our last one, which was like a little more than a month ago. We did an eating challenge. Yeah, um, but it's good to finally do another challenge video again. Let's get to it. So we're going to be doing a random, no recipe baking challenge. So how it works is we're going to get a hat. Okay, where's the hat? We're going to get this hat. This hat, yes. And uh, we're going to put desserts on little pieces of paper in there. We're going to crumple them up and mix them around. And then one of us is going to choose the dessert. And whatever that dessert is, we have to make without a recipe. There are multiple different desserts. And some of them we're not too familiar with. And some of them we made before, but we're not we're still like, eh, we don't really know how to make them that well. And um, I'm going to shake this. And, and then, then I'm going to choose. He's going to choose? Yeah. yeah. One second. One second. So we got it. Eton mess. So the spelling is, is E T O N. So like pronounce it's pronounced uh, Eton. Okay. But before we start, I'm gonna leave you the time right now to search up what Eton mess is. It's e T O N space M E S S, and just to get familiar with what what we're actually making. Okay. So while I is in a different room, I'm gonna tell you what I think Eton mess is. Um, basically, I think that it's like a layer of whipped cream at the bottom, and then like fruits. And then a meringue, like you know how we make pavlova? It's kind of like that, but it's like a smaller type of pavlova, it's like a meringue. And then you put that on top of the whipped cream and fruits. And then you put another layer of whipped cream, and then fruits again, and then the, the another meringue, and then uh, top it off with whipped cream with some fruits and icing sugar. To make my Eton mess, my first step is going to be to make the, the pavlova or the, the meringues. And then, so while those are cooling down, I'm going to Get some whipped cream. I'm gonna put it at the bottom. I'm gonna mix it with fruits, and then I'll add the first meringue. Then I'll uh, do the same thing. I'll add whipped cream, then the fruits, and then I'll the second meringue, and then I'll top it off with whipped cream and that's some icing sugar, yes. And and those are my steps. Okay, so now that I'm in the other room, I'm gonna explain what I think Eaton Mess is. So Eaton Mess is like a combination of like different layers of which include like, meringue whipped cream and strawberries, like thin strawberries. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do meringue, then whipped cream, then strawberries, and then I'm gonna repeat that over again. Then I'm gonna have like dabs of whipped cream on the top and like put the raspberry or the mini meringues on top of those whipped cream dabs and then I'm um, gonna do it. Okay, so we put in this ginormous divider and um, now we're gonna go get our ingredients. Okay, so my ingredients are two strawberries, I'm gonna cut those into really thin places, one egg white, um, a, half a half teaspoon of cornstarch, three and a half tablespoons of sugar, and some whipped cream. Okay, so the ingredients I got were, I think this is two fourths a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one egg white, um, two teaspoons of uh, uh, cornstarch, and then I got two and a half tablespoons of uh, sugar. And then for like, the fruit part, I got eight raspberries. And then I'm probably gonna cut up the strawberries later on. Also, the whipping cream uh, is in the fridge because I don't want it to melt. Um, and so I'll, I'll take it away. So we have an announcement to make. We just reached 100 subscribers. Uh, this may go down, this may go up, but at this current point, we have 100 subscribers while we're recording. And uh, we would just like to thank everyone uh, who was a part of this. It really means a lot to us, and we appreciate it so much. So thank, thank you. you. Okay, so I'm going to start off by putting my egg whites into this bowl. I need a bowl. And then I'm going to get a whisk. I just whisk it up. Oh, I don't have a whisk. We want um, this egg white to be like really foamy. Egg whites. Okay, this is clearly not gonna work. Okay, so now my uh, mixture became really foamy. I'm just gonna add like a third of the sugar in. Then mix it again. So once we've added all the sugar in, we're just gonna put in our half teaspoon of cornstarch. And then just mix it. I put some of the uh, meringue batter onto it, it, onto the pan and I want it to be the size of like the bottom of this cup because I'm gonna put it inside the cup once, once it's done baking. Um, so I'm just wanna, I wanna spread it out a little bit until like, of course it's the size that I want. 
Um, I want it to be a little bit like higher because then um, I can fill it up to the very top when I uh, have it eaten by the end. Okay, so I'm gonna preheat my oven to 300 degrees. I might raise it to 350 later, but we'll just see. Okay, so I made like five meringues, two that I'm gonna use for like the actual one and then like three smaller ones, maybe just for design for the top. Um, and now I'm just gonna put this in the oven. I'll start off with 10 minutes, cause I don't know actually how long I should put it in the oven for. Um, and then I might take these small ones out earlier. Um, but if 10 minutes isn't enough, I'll just put it in longer. Okay, so I'm gonna wash these two strawberries. Oh, I Dump the cornstarch in now. And then, now the vanilla extract. I got like literally, there's like nothing in it. There's just like so little. One eternity later. I finally died. Oh, my arm's dead. Mm. Oh, dang it, I need to do my pencil paper. Ah. Okay, now a spoon. I'm like, Like, well, if I'm supposed to make it like this size, so it's like, it's like a very, very small circle. Okay, that's like, that's perfect. That's like the ideal size. So I don't want to take chances, so I'm just going to use all my batter to make it a third one. So just, just to make sure that if one of them fails, I have a backup. So I'm going to put mine in the oven for like, I guess on 350 maybe, I think that might be too much, I don't know. And then I'll put this in for five minutes at a time and I'll just check it to make sure like where it's at and then I'll keep on going. Okay, I'll, I'll put it on 350. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in the oven. This is the R of cam, just to see where I'm at with my bake. Um, I'll show you right here. It's been about two minutes or so. It turned out to be very nice. I like that. Okay, so while my uh, meringues are in the oven, I'm gonna just cut my strawberries. It's like a, you know, good size piece. They finally, what the, for the third time, I think they're ready. Let me just get that testing thing where it's not quite that one. Um, almost. I'm gonna put it in for about three more minutes and then let's see what happens then. Mine are now done. We're probably like, we've, we've done it for 13 minutes so far. Oh, those look nice. Those look nice. Done. And yeah, it's done. Let's go. Mine are done, finally. Okay, so the buzzer finally rang and it was just testing so good. Yeah, that's perfect. It should like bounce a little bit in. Okay, so I'm gonna cut my strawberry in half. And then I'm gonna like slice it so that like it each, I'm gonna slice it really thin so that um, you're about like, I'd say five millimeters thick. Now I'm gonna just add the whipped cream. <laughs> oh dang it! Is that good? I, I, I the whipped cream isn't whipped. Just we just have to go with along with it. Okay. So we just got a new whipped cream. It's amazing because um, 
The last one, as you can see here, was really wick liquidy, so at least this one won't be. There. Please. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so our three judges are our older brother, our mom, and our dad. Okay, so our judges are now tasting number one. Now our judges are gonna be trying number two. They were both really amazing. I think number two was a little sweeter than number one, so my vote goes for number one because I don't like too sweet. I thought they were both delicious, but I actually prefer number two more because it's got that sweetness and that tarty taste. So now our deciding vote is our older brother. So it seems as I have the deciding vote. Um, I would say they both tried their best. Um, I liked the first one because it was a bit, uh, it was pretty well cooked, sweet. Second one, uh, it was a bit softer and for sure sweeter. So for the deciding vote, I am going to select number two. So the results were um, my dad chose uh, number one and then the rest of the people, the two other people chose number two. And, um, I won because I was number two and he was number one. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to like if this video inspired you. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on any new videos that we post. See you next time.